Welcome to another American Crafts Design Team post. This time I'm using the New Dear Lizzie It's All Good collection to create these tag pockets. And you see me here designing the size. I wanted to make sure that some of the elements I wanted to use would fit inside and fit on the front. So I custom designed my own tag pocket, which is pretty easy, just like in design school. We just wrote out the measurements. So I'm doing that here so I can figure out exactly how to create it and what size everything needs to be. And this way it just works better for my brain so I can kind of decide and know which double-sided pattern papers I need to use so that when I fold them up, they won't be, the print won't be upside down. So I'll choose the stripe because when you turn that upside down, eh, it doesn't, it doesn't make any difference. It still looks good. So this floral pattern at the other side is the pink stripe. And I'm cutting it to my measurements were six for the top portion and four for the bottom. So it's 10 inches tall by four and a half inches wide. So here I made a score mark at the six inch. And you can use any scoring tool you have. Now I'm going to cut off a portion of the quarter inch on each side to create the fold over and that's what I'll use adhesive on to make the pocket. So I'm sure there are some programs or there's some silhouette cut files but I kind of like to decide what size it'll be on my own and just figure it out. That seems to work for me. Uh, visual learners like to write things down so that definitely works for me better. So. Now that I have everything scored, I'm just going to burnish this full fold over edge here. And you saw me trim away and cut at an angle so that with the scissors, so that the portion has the fold over part, creates a tag pocket. So I'm using super sticky red line tape from American Crafts. And you saw me use the We Are Memory Keepers crop a dial to punch the tag angles at the top. So that's why I'm calling this a tag pocket. So the fun thing about this is those sealed with a kiss wax seals. Oops, I just spilled some of the <laughs> wax seal that I had. I had just created those and finished making them. So I sat them at the top of the shot there. And you see me using the red line tape because it's a really strong adhesive to hold that pocket. And there's enough dimension that you could use this as snail mail and send it to some of your friends with some extra goodies from the Dear Lizzie collection. So that would be really fun to send bits of washi and die cut ephemera and, and pieces of the pattern paper in that pocket. Sorry, I had to pick up all the little bits of the wax seal. So. Now that I have that first tag pocket, I will create the second and the third. And here I like the purse paper pattern paper because the back side of it is also will work well when you turn it upside down. So I just have to have to cut it to my measurements, the 10 by four and a half. Oh there, it's an orange pattern, a light, a peachy, peachy orange. And there we go. And I just have to measure like I did before and cut down to that mark with the quarter inch. And we're not footing, cutting the full quarter inch off. See, we're only cutting to the where the pocket starts. And you could pause the video to get the measurements and kind of screenshot that if you want to create these same tag pockets. You're really full, fold that and score it well. You could use a bone folder. This purse pattern is really fun because uh, I like this collection because it has some different colors. We don't a lot of times see navy or peach, but I really love the colors in this collection. And the brand new sealed with a kiss wax seal kits comes with, I think it's three colors. Yeah, there's a gold, a pink, and a darker red, which j just absolutely coordinates so well with the It's All Good Dear Lizzie collection.
There you saw I use the crop a dial cr to create the angled top of the tag pockets. And I'm seeing like, what did I do? I must have not measured right. But that's okay, they don't have to all be, because this is a DIY project, they don't have to all be the exact same size. And what I did think of is you could also use this as a mini album and add some photos to maybe send it to the grandparents. Now this one, I'm not sure if I end up actually using this one. I. Think I thought that I changed the pattern, but I do absolutely love that. I think I'm going to cover, because the balloons end up being upside down, but I really wanted to, the thing I really wanted to use was that pink text paper. So what you can do if you really want to use a pattern and it doesn't work, on the other side doesn't work, obviously, all you have to do is cover the front of the pocket. So I'm going to end up covering the front of this with this floral paper. Just because the scale of the floral is really large, so therefore you get a lot of color, but it's not gonna compete with that truck image. I love that pickup truck full of flowers, so that's why I wanted to switch and use this large scale floral. It looks really good with the pink text paper as well. So and the really fun part about making these tag pockets is that you get to pick the different patterns that you want to highlight on the front and also in the pocket. So once again, I'm just using the super sticky red tape to adhere the pocket and stuff on the front. And I have a clusters of embellishments and die cuts from the there's my three tag pockets that are finished. So here you see, I just write on there, that's the pocket and this is the card. So later I can take a picture of this and add it to my files. I have template files in the drawers in my craft room. So now I've got the chipboard and the washi tape and I want to add the washi tape to one of these pockets just to bring some of the pink color to the front of the orange orange front pocket. So now that I have placed the ruler there, I'm going to use these super sticky these sticky thumb super sticky um, sticky dots that are dimensional. So these have a little bit kind of like a foam dot, but they're not they're not as dimensional. So they're a little bit less. I mean, they do raise it up off the background, but not so much. And then I will use the ruler to apply the sentiment, which is going to say live simply from the chipboard pack there. So I'll start with the center. I start with the two letters that will go at the center and then I'll work out from there. And here I have all of the tag pocket fronts done. Now I get to pick some coordinating patterns that I want to put place in each pocket. So starting with the pink one, since I have a house on the front of the pocket, I wanted to use the house print card to make create a card for the pocket. And I love that honeycomb because that's also pink. So it kind of ties in with that. The color scheme of each tag pocket is a little bit different. That way you get to use more patterns. So now that I have all the card patterns decided for the inside, I can go about sticking extra embellishments in and uh, embellishing the cards themselves. And each of the card embellishments will try to stick with uh, whatever theme is in that tag pocket. So this one will have another of the images the, of the flower truck, the truck filled with flowers. That pickup truck is so cute. So here I'm taking the ticket strip and just scoring it so that it can be a fold out. And as well with this tag, the three tags I cut and then I cut off the bottom of the banner shape so that that can also be a fold out. And here's another card, the peach card, and this one is going to be like a peachy keen. And then you can add, simply add some die cuts and extras in the pocket for a friend if she's also a paper crafter. 
I just thought this would be a fun little kind of snail mail since it, it has a retro vibe because of the the wax seals are kind of like a nostalgic letter writing a nod to the era when we used to handwrite letters so I kind of like to send that kind of stuff to family members that live far away so there you can see the top left card that's going to also have the pickup truck image on it and I'll finish up uh, this one that has the tag and the flamingo I will tie some twine around it so I've folded the tags so that they can open upwards and you could also if you're going to create a mini album with this you could also add images and photos to the inserts so here we have the finished wax seals and then I have some steel shots of the cards outside the pocket so that you can see them a little bit better and see how they coordinate so this was a really fun project and I hope you get a chance to try out the it's all good collection from dear Lizzie and American crafts thanks for joining me today I love it if you like and subscribe bye